Hi there, this is Corey Robertson. I am the founder of the Corey Robertson Coaching Academy for Leaders, and I'm a professional coach. So it's just coming down to the end of the work day for me. It's, uh, it's getting dark, it's, uh, it's time to wrap up for the day. But before I go, I just wanted to check in with my uh, coaching spotlight of the week, which is to talk about one of the very interesting um, issues that came up in a coaching session this week. And that was a, a manager who wanted to help uh, one of his employees get over a sense of perfectionism. So perfectionism seems like a great thing. It's, you know, oh, I'm a perfectionist. I really care about the details. I want everything to be just right. Um, it sounds wonderful. However, perfectionism is not such a great thing. Uh, perfectionism is, uh, it's a way of, I'm just noticing the moment my lights are out. Let me see if I can get that back on. I think that's better lighting now. So, um, right, so perfectionism is often a way uh, for people to, you know, hide behind um, their values of doing a really great job by avoiding trying something new. Uh, avoid risking making a mistake, um, and they're often avoiding uh, putting themselves out there. So it's much safer, it feels much more comfortable for them to stay within their their comfort zones and not make a mistake and not get out there. So often it appears as busy work, you know, they do look busy, you know, um, agonizing over the making sure that the, you know, the columns are perfect or the fonts are perfect or whatever the case may be, or double checking once again that, you know, uh, the, the data is all perfectly accurate and all those things are important, there's a certain point where they have to move on and do other things. So it was a really interesting coaching call because the manager hadn't really thought of perfection and perfectionism in that way. He was really thinking, like, how do I get my client, my employee past, uh, you know, making sure the columns are perfect and onto more value added work. And it was really uh, action oriented. How do I get him past that? And through talking it through with him, through sort of coming to understand the employee, understand what he was going through, the manager did realize like, yeah, maybe he is, you know, afflicted with some perfectionism and maybe my management style has to change so that I can help him have the confidence that he needs to, branch out a little bit more, take some risks, um, be willing to make a mistake, be willing to perhaps, you know, even lose face a little bit. Now, for a person to trust you enough to let go of their perfectionism, be willing to make a mistake, be willing to try something new, you have to have a really, really strong relationship. So approach these things gently. Keep in mind that this is a human being who has, you know, cares and concerns about the quality of his work, um, how he's perceived is important. And it was a great opportunity for you to practice, you know, your constructive feedback skills. Um, I've spoken about this before on my lives. I've blogged about it uh, extensively at um, www.coryrobertson.com where my blog lives uh, to really understand that when you're giving someone feedback, you want to do it in such a way that it builds them up. It's constructive feedback. It's not about giving constructive criticism. If somebody hears the word criticism, you're just going to make their perfectionistic tendencies amplify. So you want to sit down, you want to talk about what success looks like, you want to really explore with the person uh, to help them understand that they are in a safe place, they're in a learning environment, and learning doesn't happen by itself, it does take some mistakes. Does the person perhaps need some extra training and some extra development? Do they need a little bit of extra time, maybe some, um, you know, a course or uh, some kind of um, a refresher might go a long way to give this person the confidence he needs so that he can go and branch out and also build on your relationship. Make sure that he knows that he can trust you, that it's a safe place to try new things and to make mistakes. You are not going to embarrass him and he's not going to get in big trouble if you know his uh, he lets go of his perfectionistic tendencies. So I hope that helps. I would love to hear from you about how you recognize perfectionism on your among your team members, what you do about it, how you resolve it, and if you're stuck, please reach out to me. 
you can book a virtual coffee with me uh, through my website. So I'll give you the address already, but here it is again, www.coreyrobertson.com and go to the contact page. You'll find my, uh, my app for getting into my schedule, which is talkwithcory.com. So have a great afternoon. It's a, it's a heat wave in my part of the world. So um, I hope you are enjoying beautiful summer weather. So take good care and see you soon.